What? I, I said hi. Oh, hi. It's a nice day. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing today? I'm getting my hair cut. Um, you know, you should probably take those off. You're, you're speaking rather loudly. What? Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm wearing these to block out my incredibly loud voice. G'day, folks. That was bloomin' hilarious. Put her there. Mally's the name, comedy's the game. All right, use it home. Let's have a look at why that was so bloomin' funny. Bloke here comes over. He's a little bit frisky. Likes the look of this lady. He says, hi. She says, what? He repeats what he said originally, and she responds by saying, hello, and I'm getting my bloody pretty hair done today. By this stage, he's getting a little bit annoyed. He wants her to take off her bloody big honkers so he can talk to her proper like. Already things are going bloody terrific, until things go bloom and terrific. Here is the point of comic genius. Take very, very special note. What? I can't hear ya. I have to wear these bloody honkers because I speak so bloody loudly. <laughs> Makes me wet my bloody pants just by thinking about it. Congratulations, blokes. To show my appreciation, I'd like to offer you a couple of Asian soft drinks. Well, isn't life fascinating? Join me next time for more laughing, giggling, hooting, and hollering. Look at this moron, all over the road. Hey sir, which way do you want to go? I bet you can't even hear me because you're so deaf and stupid. Just look at this in slow-mo. He goes left, then right, then left again. I guess this guy learned to drive in Vietnam between 72 and 75. <laughs> but seriously, this is incredibly dangerous driving. This idiot's gone way too close to the driveway. What if a child in his billy cart came buzzing out? You'd have taken his head clean off his shoulders. But you'd probably just smugly walk away. Those signs are there for a reason, sir. Or should I say, child killer. I think this guy's just downed a bottle of vodka with a gang of homeless people. Either that or he's had his eyes sewn shut. Look at that, straight over the curb. Ouch! I think someone better call the RACV. Oh, and a chiropractor for that guy's neck and spine. <laughs> just look at this careless driver. No indicator and all over the other park. Huh. Don't you worry about other drivers, just as long as you're happy, little Lord Fauntleroy. I think someone's indicating a little bit late. He's pretty lucky not to have his brains pouring out his nose and onto the dashboard. If that's indicating 30 metres before the turn as the law prescribes, then my grandfather wasn't a highly decorated army general. And this guy isn't a completely dangerous driver, which he clearly is. <laughs> This guy will know. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Um, don't want this to look like I'm curb crawling or something. <laughs> um, I just wanted to know um, how much does it cost to have sex with you? Uh, no. no. Um, oh God, how embarrassing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, look, I shouldn't, what am I doing here? My, my girlfriend let me 
yeah, she left me, and uh, she's in she's in a relationship with one of those those gym junkies. You know, they're both with their tight bodies, and they work out together, and they they kiss after they've worked out, and then they go home and they ravage each other, and they have sex right, all no, I'm night. Not interested. No, I'm not. I don't <laughs> want to hear about it. I'm sorry. Oh well, God, why am I? I'm very sorry. You you don't want to hear about this. Um, look, it's a very hard life you lead doing this, and. Uh, I want to pay you off. I want to pay you off for your oh, time no, anyway. I'm not a prostitute at all. I'm not a prostitute. Oh. Well, sorry. Could you could you tell me where Bridgman Road is? I couldn't I couldn't find it in the moment. Bridge Bridgman? Two up on the left. Two up on the left. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, mate. I uh, I couldn't I couldn't find Bridgman, but I uh, I wanted to ask, uh, how much does it cost to have sex with you? Huh? Yep. All right. I'll keep driving around. See if I can find you later. Cheers. Just home. You live there? Yeah. What's it to you? I'm just making sure you're not using that house in the vain attempt to get somewhere else. What are you talking about? A house is not a mode of transport. Simple way to remember it. Abode, not transport mode. If you need to get from A to B, you should use a car. You shouldn't use a house. If you travel by house, it won't work. You've got to understand. It's not in its nature. You can't steer the damn thing. It's got no wheels. The windows have got no wipers. How are you gonna steer? Did you ever think of that one? You can't travel by house. It's not in its nature. None of the seats are stuck to the floor. But a car, that's on the other hand entirely. It's in its nature. It's got car seat covers, headrests, visor flaps. That's a travel in nature. Anyway, can't stay. Mustache. Last week, The Ugly Stick received this letter. Dear The Ugly Stick, you won't believe it. A stain that looks like Neil Young with a turtle on his head has miraculously appeared in my toilet bowl. It is best viewed from a nearby stool. Come see, William Ruxpin. Enclosed was a sketch of the stain, as well as a portrait of Mr. Ruxpin himself. But William was right. We didn't believe him. And so we sent him a courtesy letter to tell him just that. But when we received the exact same letter two days later, this time with a somewhat more detailed sketch, we knew William meant business. You better come inside, there's something I think you really need to see. Get off the stairs, Sasha. You know we've got guests. I need to stay off the stairs, Sasha. This is the bathroom. This is where the miracle occurred the first time. Right there, that's the stool where I first sat on. That gets the best vantage point of what I believe to be the miracle in the toilet bowl. Any scepticism we had was instantly removed as we came face to face with this irrefutable underwater miracle. And so, this is where it happened. I was sitting in this stool and I was peering into the toilet bowl when suddenly I saw Neil Young with a large marine turtle on his head. From the shadows of the s bend the unmistakable face of Neil Young, adorned by one of God's masterpieces, the endangered leatherback sea turtle. 
Neil Young refers to the turtle in the song on this album, Decade. The song is called Deep Forbidden Lake, where he speaks of mystical themes. When, when Neil Young was asked to comment to the significance of the turtle, or even the song, Neil Young said he didn't know. Young's prophetic lyrics are given almost sacred poignance as one stares, hypnotised, into William's toilet bowl. Have a listen as this line actually mentions a turtle approaching a bog. See the turtles heading for the bog and fall. How eerie. This is my cat Juniper. Juniper was with me when we found Neil Young with a turtle on his head with a cross in my toilet bowl. Juniper. You were in charge that day, weren't you? Juniper! Juniper, come back! And what can be said of that mystery X symbol? The X is the classic mark of treasure. Here I have found treasure in the shape of Neil Young with a turtle on his head in the toilet bowl. Is there more treasure? The plot thickens. But what does it all mean, William? I think this points to a very clear line of cosmic energy. We've got a turtle and Neil Young and a cross and they're all in a toilet bowl. The significance is striking. It's striking. What does it all mean when put together? Am I a chosen one? Or do I need to clean my toilet? It's a curious mystery. Yes, William, it is. I suppose that is the only part of this miracle we will ever truly understand. William, your amazing discovery has earned you this week's $590 Ugly Stick cash prize. Great job. $590 will come in really handy. It's been a great journey. They are, mate. Hey, how you going? Oh, I'm so tired. I was up until 2 a.m. doing this. I just don't know if I can keep going. Oh, you poor fella. Look, uh, why don't you take a break? Let me do it for you. Yeah? yeah. I'll get right in there. Okay? Easy as you like. Oh, that was nice little boy. No stress on me, Pally. Done all my work last night. Ah, there we go. Just like that. Helps. People can share the burden. Just work it like that, that's good. Yeah, yeah. See, you don't need to do it all yourself. Get some help from your friends, alright? <sighs> share the burden. Gets us all through the day. Easy as you like. It was a little too good right now, alright buddy? That's probably cleared up the problem, hasn't it? Thanks. I'll see you later. Peter! Yo, punk, this is the Article Collective giving you the lowdown on the highbrow of the art scene. Critique, culture, scene, opinion, both popular and ours. Fresh to live, design aesthetic. It's your what hot, freaky style on Dutch oven. We dig the jiggy. Frame this junkie. This week, the Article I returns to the awesome world of arty foreign film. Tati Goddard von Trier, von Carl White, Paul the Oven, all the mad cool masters of the international scene. Subversion, postmodernism, colours, non English, subtext, eroticism, no storyline. Those are the sweet ass elements that comprise his favourite and the greatest, awesome, all time foreign art house films. They're impressive on dates, a must for any well versed DVD collection, and provide you with intellectual dissection material at dinner parties. Check the box. 
but in a bittersweet twist, the state of Australia's own foreign filmmaking industry is practically non-existent. And that's pathetic! Yeah, it's pathetic. Enter the Article Collective to set the record straight. Article. Bizzing it up. Ooh, there it is. Foreign film served article fresh. Crisp it, crisp it. Beauté est abandonné. L'amour est une jolie fille. Où était à Broadmeadow? Une pièce de rêves oubliées, une vieille amie. Mes pantalons sont ratés. Brigitte, non Elle est morte. Je suis en français. Oui, merci. Je suis français aussi. Nous sommes là, non? Elle est tout à fait. Oui. Uh, would you like some kind of custard tart? I'll, I'll say that in French. French custard tart? Or français French? Non. Alors qui j'ai un fromage dansé Bon. Et tu l'as habité. Nous sommes encore noyés en esprit. Des filles au Can I use the bathroom? Uh, yeah, I'll just be like five minutes. It's not in your nature to take five minutes. You see, for a girl, it'd be more in your nature to take a 45 minutes. First, you gotta look at the face, and you poke it and pull it. Then, you wipe on the colors and the odors and such, and lipstick. And then, you look at it again, and you brush your teeth, and you make a face. And then, you don't stop. Then you gotta do your hair. If you're a chimpanzee, it would be in your nature to pull some bugs out of your hair. But, you don't got bugs. It's not in your nature to have bugs. Unless, of course, you got bugs. No. You don't got bugs? No. No bugs. See? Not in your nature. Look, the bathroom's all yours. Thank you. You can't talk. My slash. I'm Carl, 68514 double R. I'm a great guy, 
I'm a wild fellow and I'm a real hunk of spunk ready to set your love life right on fire. I'm 5'9", 73 kilos and I take a size 9 sneaker. Sure, you must be wondering why fall in love with this guy? Well, here goes something. I have a fine wage, a crazy hot car, right down to earth snag sensibilities and a downright crazy sense of humour. Uh, want to dance? Sure, I'd love to. And I can. Can't heat in my heels tonight, baby. Want a night in? Bring it on. I'll bring the wine, you bring the chalky bickies and the duvet. Hey darling, let's just do sex. In the city, that is. You like the arts? Oh my god, I love the arts. I'm a keen appreciator of all arts. Oh, I didn't tell you, I'm a singer-songwriter? I'm so sorry. Love is the potion Sean, take me for a ride Kisses are sweet like the tulips of Easter Divine Who knows? Maybe that song was about you and I, and the love affair about to blossom. A few other things you might not know about me. You know what? I really hate it when guys hurt women. Girls are so... and women are so misunderstood these days, with the pressures of society, and periods, and raising ch child, children. Man. I love shopping. Really. I love it, I admire it. What a great time we've had right just now. But don't worry, child, it never has to end. 68154RR, that's 68154RR, Carl is the name, and love, well, that's our game. Really perfectly, didn't it? It was amazing. Yeah.